If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Couldn't snack search for the stadium. Couldn't snack search for the stadium, that's okay. Games definitely take a while with this deck though. But I mean, I'm basically a 3 bill Elba Bryson Mans away from KOing, so it's not the end of the world. There we see the Alter Creation. We are pretty well protected so far. So I'm gonna lose I mean. Try and establish that once again. That's what the uh, only the second KRX well, yeah, only the second. So let's go Wondrous Gift, Heads or Acrobikes, I guess. Mm. Wondrous Gift. And then let's go for Snack Search, Heads, thank you very much. I feel like I just grabbed the Sky Pillar. Well, actually, no. Yeah. Now let's go, Belalba. I don't mind top taking Belalba. How do you beat Cryogonal plus Fion? You don't. I don't think you can. I don't think you can beat Cryogonal. Um, they GX and they go into Cryogonal and then... I mean, I guess you use Spirit Tomb to knock it out. But then if they have two Cryogonals... Well, yeah, if they have two Cryogonals, then you lose uh, to that. Eh, ¿Cómo hacen Sword and Shield? Ya lo terminé. Ya terminé al campeón. Huh, my opponent just passes. Why would he do that? Um, Alright. So discard the top three cards. We hit an energy, that's really nice. And then let's go Wondrous Gift. Wondrous Gift. And Snack Search. Triple Tails turn, that's okay. Yeah, Chandler plus Spiritum. They should just like I mean you'd only need Spiritum really to to knock it out. Um, I guess double Spiritum with two rainbows might do it, but I'm not super sold on it. Chandler only gives you one turn though, so I don't think Chandler would be a good way out of it. I don't think Chandler is actually good enough. Okay, so my opponent, I think, just gave up on life. <laughs> Wondrous, Wondrous. <laughs> si es que yo no hice nada del Wild Area y ahora sí ya estoy haciendo el Wild Area. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Sword and Shield. Um, I skipped the whole Wild Area pretty much for the most part until I now that I've been in the champion and everything. Now I'm there um, and I'm at the part where I want to. Um, I want to. Um, I want to get Dittos. Yeah, I want to get Dittos to start breeding, to start getting Pokemon ready for um, for battling. Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then, there we go. So my opponent, I think, just Rage quit there. And I mean, that's basically the deck. Yeah, you cycle through your resources uh, as long as you flip a decent number of heads and you don't get completely unlucky. On average, you should get enough heads to make sure you have an infinite loop. So yeah, it's a really difficult deck to beat, that's for sure. A very, very difficult deck to beat. All right, so that will conclude our coverage of the fifth place deck from LAIC. If you're watching live on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back after this quick commercial break. Be right back.
Welcome back everyone to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. If you're watching live on Twitch, it's not a brand new day. Thank you so much for joining me today live. Really appreciate it. And we are going to be taking a look at this very interesting Greens ADP deck that ended up getting second place, not second place, sorry, top eight, seventh place, top eight at the Latin America International Championship. So, 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 we have um we have adp a very powerful attacker ultimate rate dealing 150 damage allowing you to attach three basic energies it's all over the place you should know what this card does unless you're living under a rock and you haven't been paying any attention to cosmic eclipse and of course we have alter creation gx where we get to deal 30 extra damage and we draw one extra prize card every time we knock out a pokemon so we are going to be powering up Drampa with Dragon Arcana dealing 140 damage if we have two or more different types of basic energy, so 170 after Altered Creation. We have Lucarian Mail Metal to help cover for the Glaring Fairy Weakness that we have to Guardian with Steel Fist and more importantly Heavy Impact, which is actually fairly easy to power up thanks to, um, thanks to Ultimate Raid. And finally we have Cryogonal with the Frozen Lock attack, we deal 10 damage and your opponent can play any item cards from their hand during their next turn, meaning Pijoto and Florgus are not an issue. So we have a very nice array of energy cards here. We have one unit energy of the Grass, Water, Fire and one unit of Lightning, Metal and Psychic. That is so that they can be searchable through Kuzma and Hala at any point in the game. And we have five basic Metal and five basic Waters. Now, other than that, we have our four greens exploration because it's the best card in the deck. We can search for any trainer cards that we need. That means um, great catchers, great potions, energy spinners, custom catchers, tackles even, um, any combination of our stadiums. We have um, reset stamps, we have switches, we have poke gears, we have pokecom as well to search for the non-GX attackers. And we have Synthic Aitlin to continually reuse um, greens exploration whilst also making sure that our tackles also give us a little bit of extra draw power We do have one challenger as well to make sure that any Latios GX that try to stop us from using our GX attack Ends up not working out for them and we have Malo and Lana to heal as well So let's jump into a ladder and see if we can continue our good streak today with the um with the greens ADP deck. All right. So we call the coin flip, which we do indeed win. All right. So we do end up mulliganing. We are up against a mirror match, so Keldo is definitely an issue for this deck. I feel like you need Faba possibly to deal with it. Although, although you also have Drampa GX, which is a very big deal. Not Drampa GX, sorry, the regular Drampa, which can take care of Keldo. So we'll have to see, right? We shall have to see. Pretty, pretty good starting hand if I say so myself. We have the greens, we have guaranteed energy. So we're basically guaranteed a turn two um, alter creation into a turn three ultimate ray, which is the dream, right? It's definitely the dream for this deck. So let's go ahead and energy spinner. Let's check our energy count. No basic energies are prized. However, the unit metal energy is prized. So that means I'm going to choose to grab the water because the next turn I can boost Mahala for the guaranteed energy anyways. And then I'll go ahead and greens. That saves me the energy spinner, basically. I'll definitely grab this. And I kind of like the choice element. Is there anything better here? Actually, the Pokemon might actually be better. Well, not this turn though. I actually, I'm liking the tackle. And then next turn we go for the Pokemon. Because we do need to power up Trampa. Right, we do in fact need to power up the drum bomb. So I'm gonna grab these because I already have. Uh, well, I guess I'll grab. Well, no, yeah, I'll grab this. This seems solid. Drumpa is gonna be the key here, though. Drumpa and the power plants are gonna be key. 
So let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. Our plan, 100% next turn, is to alter creation. And oh my gosh, I messed up with this, right? The unit energy that's priced is a metal one, not the... Oh, duh. <laughs> I need to grab the metal. Okay, so I just didn't execute it as I intended to. <laughs> but you get the gist. Yeah, I just clicked wrong. Alright, so my opponent is playing ends, which I definitely think, like, I don't understand why you wouldn't play ends resolve here. That double energy hit is just insane right here. That's basically game. I disagree with this. I think, like, if my opponent goes ultimate ray, what do I do? It forces me to have to heal, right? It absolutely forces me to have to heal. Because I messed up, I have to search, yeah. <laughs> I have to search for the energy spinner. Thankfully, that's also not prized. All right, but to say we are in trouble would be an understatement. And it's all thanks to the ends. The ends actually gives my opponent that extra boost of consistency to get going. And I fully disagree with my opponent's play of going for the alter creation GX there. There is absolutely no reason not to pressure me right there absolutely no reason not to pressure me i think All right if i heal i heal but then nothing's changing then you just go alter creation next turn i guess we'll see we'll see how this plays out there's a caldo So, I mean, no power plant, no stadium yet for my opponent. So I'm just gonna have to hope, right? I'm just gonna have to hope that he just doesn't get it. Goodbye, Channeler. Goodbye, Poke Gear. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. And then I kind of don't want to grab the power plant. So that my opponent is surprised, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna play the Kalex well though. And then next turn I go. Uh can I save myself with a choice helmet? No, right? 150. Yeah, no, there's no way. So let's do this. And then let's go like this. Right? And then we go power up. No reason to attach energy to the active. That would be very, very silly for me to do. All right. So if my opponent doesn't play down AK or XL, I think I should go. Well, if he heals, I'm in trouble as well. Goes for the switch into the Jirachi, looking for the stadium, probably. Grabs a Cynthia, that's not the stadium. Benches another Keldeo, so that might be difficult to deal with, that's for sure. I mean, I guess we don't have to. Yeah, actually, okay, so it does find the same. I guess I don't have to deal with Keldeo. I just go greens for a great catcher and something else and reset stamp probably and then hope I get my last greens of the prizes. Yeah, if I had my last greens, this would be a completely different game. Okay, so I go for this. And then I'm kind of in trouble. Not super in trouble, but we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. So I go like that. Right. And then I go like this. Right. And grab the Trampa. Oh, pretty nice. This should work. And then I go like this. Bring me that IEDP. And then we bench. And then we ultimate ray, and then we KO. No ends seem so bad. I mean, it ends up working out for people. 
it honestly ends up working out for people. And now, Drampa can KO anything that my opponent has on the field. My Arceus Dialopalkia should never be one KO'd at all whatsoever. And with the greens, all I need to do is greens exploration for double custom to KO Jirachi with ADP, or all I need to do is retreat into Drump and win. Um, so if my opponent finds Fion, he wins. That was the one issue with this plan. My opponent finds Fion, he immediately wins. Rusty, Nightmare, sigue siendo bueno. Eh, no es el mejor deck, but, pero sí sigue siendo bueno. And there's the Pokecom. Uh, so, like... <sighs> yeah, the Fion. The Fion, the Fion, the Fion. So... Oh, uh, that's awful. I mean... So there was no guarantee that I would find my greens of all the prizes, right? And then if I hadn't benched that guy, my opponent goes 140. And then I rely on the next, like my top deck and the next three cards to find a great potion. If I don't, I immediately lose. So, oh, that was rough. That was rough. Um, that was rough. Not much to say there. Um, the ends allowed my opponent to outpace me, right? The ends, 100%, it gave my opponent a turn. He GX'd one turn before me, he attacked me one turn before me. Without the ends, he would not have been able to do that. So, ugh, it's hard to argue against the end. Like, the top decks did not have end with ADP, but, oh, I still think end is really good. Like, at maybe not max copies, but at least four. I mean, not four, sorry. At least two, that's what I meant. <laughs> at least two. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? Right? What do I know? Okay. So, we start this person, which is nice. And we have energy search and everything. And we're up against Mew Mew, so that's a very scary matchup, that's for sure. A very, very scary matchup. change had the welder but didn't have the stadium that's good that's why the stellar wish before the data change very likely all right we are on a huge clock though the good smile in hand means even if i eat greens for a power plant i am like i'm not in a good spot no matter what gets back the welder so there's just the potential that we just get knocked out next turn, 100%. Uh, 100, 100%. And even the Marshallow. So there's no way Power Plant is a good plan here. So do I just not bother? I, I just, I don't see... I don't see how I can possibly do well here. So, I mean, attaching to the active is definitely the way I lose, though. So let's grab those two, and let's just start powering up a bench to ADP. That's going to be the plan. Right. Sure. 
Yeah, that's a plan, I guess. So let's bench. Let's do this. Grab one of each. And then we'll attach the metal. And then we'll bench that guy and then pass. We might just get knocked out next turn. That might just be what happens. And I would not be surprised one teeny tiny bit if that was what happened. There's a giant heart. We know my opponent has a welder. Immediately plays it. This card sold Galio. Not quite the Charizard. And we're still dead though. Unless the Charizard is prized, we are 100% dead. So I guess I don't go for the GX attack. There's no need to expose myself to that, right? I don't think. I think I go greens for greens and switch, switch into this guy, attach and then pass. Oh. Goes for a reset stamp. And of course, our hand is terrible after the reset stamp. So terrible, in fact, that I think it's just game ending. Nice reset stamp. Nice, nice reset stamp there by my opponent. Pretty well timed. All right. Have you guys noticed that delay in the audio of my videos? I feel like there's a big delay between what my webcam, what I do, and then what my webcam shows and then what's happening in the game. That's really odd. Okay, so went for Jumping Balloon. I'm like, what do I even do here? I'm gonna have the energy to retreat no matter what. I don't like getting rid of the two uh, the two energies, but whatever. Now let's go with this. Okay. So I do find the greens. That's nice. So let me grab switch and green. Right, right. I grab chaotic as well. Switch and green is that good? I don't have any energy spinner left. So is tackle better? Maybe? Yeah, actually I think tackle is better. I don't want to power up this guy ever again. And this guarantees me energy, right? Yep. Well, not necessarily, actually. All right. Oh, we're in so much trouble though. This thing is so slow. It gets wilder, you just get so outpaced. There's the welder. That's not super impactful, right? See the switch. And oh my gosh, is he gonna venom shot me? I think we're getting venom shotted. Unless it's not there, it's not oh it is there. Yikes. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that was not good. 
That was not good. Well, that's not good. Um. Wait, so this probably doesn't matter? Well, maybe it does. Got the greens. Oh, free energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The 10 damage does not matter whatsoever. Let's just go frozen luck. And then maybe we go greens for reset stamp plus Malolana? Seems reasonable ish. I'm not so sure. to the active turbo strike yeah I don't think I can out heal 120, 180 damage every single turn I'm fairly sure I can't I just keep finding energy <laughs> I am fairly fairly sure I can't So is it just double Malolana? I don't know. 150. I don't think I can out heal the damage that my opponent's gonna be putting up just now. I'm fairly sure I can't. Why do we not have enough energies? I just like Cynthia can play into three energies. It's just a, a kick. You know where? Yep. <laughs> it's like the one, the the very few cards that I don't want to draw are energy because I can always just attach more energy, and those are the last four cards I drew instead of other resources like healing, like power plants, like I don't know. Very annoying. And my phone just finds Dead Change. That's gonna be. Oh, not even Dead Change. Charizard GX does it. So that's it. That is it. That is, I'm pretty sure, it. Unless it's priced, which it might be. Which it actually might be. Yep, decide to attach to the benched person. But we're not getting KO'd right now. It's not a KO. It's not a KO. Yeah, but I like I don't see a way back into this match. Thank you so much for the follow the May Strive.
All right, so not sure why my opponent went that. Like it was much better to just attack into this guy and save the great catcher for afterwards. I don't understand why my opponent went that route, but I just I can't out heal the next hit. I absolutely cannot out heal the next hit. We get three prizes, none of which can be Malolana. Or maybe a tackle? No, not quite. Well, yeah, my cargo. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. GG to my opponent. Took him a while though, but I like we had no chance there. I don't think we had a chance at any point. Okay, so let's do one more of this deck. Let's do one more battle of this deck. That's two losses back to back, right? That's two losses back to back. Hello, Kamala Gaming. Okay, so we're going second. ADP feels sketchy indeed. A lot needs to go right for you. Starting by your um, top deck, right? <laughs> Not top deck, sorry. Starting by your winning the coin flip. And thank you so much for the follow, Kamala Gaming. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for following me, no matter what. Uh, before I attach, I should be playing the Poke Gears with the first one. <sighs> Don't with the second one. Alright, so I'm gonna greens for energy spinner and greens. That seems solid. That seems solid. And then we'll energy spinner for water, water, metal. So, I mean, if I use Cryogonal, I don't think that's worth it, right? My opponent's chances of attacking me next turn are so low. So, so low. All right, shrine. Very annoying. Not the end of the world. So let's do that. Let's do this. Let's go switch and greens. And then I'll switch and then I go GX and then this is gonna be the easiest game today. <laughs> goes for the filch. Now we go greens for tackle and show it helmet definitely not. 
I kind of like Great Potion. Like, there's no way we lose from this point. There's absolutely, absolutely no way we lose from this point. I'm hoping. Well, you know what? I did lose to Malamar at one of the league cups because they had a tech Dustnor. Dustnor Trevenant, and that actually really messed me up. Like, really, really, really messed me up. All right, but we get two prizes. Like, we have six prizes on board. One, two, three. We're very low on energy. There's one energy left, and we have one in hand. That means we have three energies prized, three basic energy prized. Hello, Verlumin Onion. Thank you so much for being here. There's greens. There's water. treasure I just I don't see what my point can possibly well this is one way I guess <laughs> that is one way he can get back into this but just one going back to back I have no way to one kill that it's not bad to get deal though it really shouldn't be a big deal so I'll do the water here and then I go Cynthia Caitlin, a reset stamp back for a greens. Do I need to switch? I don't think I need to switch. I'll just hold my tray. Thanks so much for the follow. Cereal. His soup. <laughs> That's a good cool name. I top deck my energy. No, I drew the energy. Never mind. Okay. So then now, next turn, we just go greens for double custom catcher. And that should be game. Right? That should be game. And there we go. Yeah, even if like my opponent needed to reset stamp me and KO the active and then tank a hit and then somehow KO me again, which seemed very, very unreasonable, right? Very, very, very unreasonable. All right, so that's it for ADP. Yeah, that's gonna be it for ADP. Um, no, I mean, the list seems solid. ADP is really powerful, but you need a lot to go right your way, I feel. Um, and like turbo welder decks, they just seem like terrible matchups for ADP no matter what. So choosing to play ADP when Mew Mew and Ability Rushes are are the top two decks in the format, arguably, oh, it's it's hard to argue for it, you know? Um, but yeah, that will be all from <clears throat> me today. Thanks so much for joining me in today's live stream. A little bit short, uh, but I do have a lot of things to I, that I need to get to. So that will be it. For today tomorrow I should be streaming um, no actually tomorrow Friday I won't be able to stream I will be able to stream until Monday so I will see everyone then and hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching don't forget to leave a like I'll see you next time bye, -bye.